Earth's atmosphere is a delicate resource. A thin blue shell that encapsulates our world. The bombardment of sunlight and heat subjects this slim coating of oxygen and nitrogen gas to incredible stresses and strains. Forces so powerful that if left unchecked, would tear the atmosphere apart. Nighttime from space. The Earth buzzes with lightning. Astronauts in the International Space Station are often amazed at the intensity and frequency of the electrical storms that take place far beneath them. Why does the Earth need these relentless storms? The answer is clear when seen from high above. The Earth's atmosphere is seeking equilibrium. Each day, the combined force of sunlight and vapor creates 40,000 thunderclouds. Clouds build up vast stores of electrical charge. Every half hour, 100 megawatts is generated inside an average thundercloud. Enough energy to power the city of Toronto for a minute. itself, it must transmit the negative energy down to the ground as lightning. But at the same time, it transmits a positive charge upwards into the sky. A vast column of charge rises out of every thundercloud. This invisible force moves at almost the speed of light towards the atmosphere's outer shell. This is the ionosphere, a thin veil of mostly hydrogen and helium gas. Now, for the first time, it's possible to see electric charge interact with this rarefied realm. Ionosphere acts as an electrical conductor. It distributes the charge all around the globe. And we now know that without this global electrical circuit, there may well be no life at all. due to an incredible chemical reaction, which takes place inside thunderclouds as lightning strikes. The electric charge inside the thundercloud grows until it's so strong that the air breaks down into ions. A tiny path forms in which an electrical current can flow. Within a thousandth of a second, a lightning bolt is initiated. It's 
no thicker than a human thumb. Yet five times the temperature of the surface of the sun. As it burns through the air, this bolt of energy breaks the nitrogen molecules in the air apart. Oxygen bonds with the nitrogen, creating a substance called nitrate. Approximately 14,000 tons of nitrate is transported around the world in weather every day. It falls to the ground in rain. Nitrate is vital to almost all forms of life. From the photosynthesis of plants to the respiration of more complex organisms, nitrate has driven key chemical reactions in living things for millions of years. Looking at the Earth as satellites do, reveals an intricate mechanism that shapes every moment of every day and drives every beat of every heart on the planet. But there is still one part of this system that's missing. And that is the profound and undeniable effect of a single species of animal, the human race. Looking at the Earth from space has revealed a system of hidden complexity interwoven at every level. Slow-moving processes connect with others that happen in microseconds. Endless cycles abound. Cycles of death, decay, regeneration, and rebirth. From the relentless power of water and sunlight to the electromagnetic forces at work all around us, every interaction reveals a finely tuned balance. Humankind is the latest natural phenomenon a direct consequence of a system that has created and sustained life for three and a half billion years. We have evolved intelligence. This single fact has enabled us to add to the Earth's ancient processes. We've transformed the planet by exploiting the complex system that produced us. Our ability to control our habitat has resulted in rapid population growth and our dominance as a species. Today, our effects can be seen across 80% of the Earth's landmass. We have even extended our scope into space. And now we are finally beginning to understand how the world works and our place in it. This is a pivotal time in the Earth's history. 
look at the planet as satellites do, and we see that we have become a global force ourselves. We already manufacture more nitrate than lightning. We produce more airborne sulfur than all the world's volcanoes. We release more CO2 than the Amazon captures. Our cities generate dust, trigger electrical storms, and affect rainfall. We impact many of the Earth's cycles. Seen from space, humankind's influence can be considered a natural process. The gases released by ships and aircraft, cars and power stations, are caused by an animal the Earth itself produced. But there is one key difference. Unlike volcanism, the movements of the ocean's currents or the oxygen released from forests and plankton blooms, we have a choice of what we do. Satellites not only allow us to understand our impact on the world, they enable us to make informed decisions about our continued consumption of its resources. Our eyes in space are showing us how to maintain the balance that sustains the natural world. <laughs>